Hey guys, Grassdown here. Um, today, I'm not really going to be focusing on the game mainly. I am going to be playing the game, but that's just to, like, keep pushing, because I want to, like, do the pushing myself. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be talking about the water main break that happened outside my house earlier. Um, so initially, how I heard of it was... my dad. I was watching the RT stream, the RT WW Me um, best YouTube content thing, and then my dad comes in and he's like... Uh, don't use the toilet or the sink because the, there's a water main outside broken. And I'm like, okay. Or I, or I think he's just like, because the water pressure's down or something. And I'm like, okay. So then, naturally, I completely forget about that and go use the bathroom. Flush the toilet, run the sink, realize, hey, the water pressure's low. And then I remember, oh right, I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, then I leave the bathroom. And my dad's there. And I'm like, oh right, sorry, I wasn't supposed to do that. I remember. Um... And then he's like, "There's a water main broken outside. You should go inside. You can." And he's like, "Go look through the door." And you, you can, I looked through the door and down the street, and there's like just a giant puddle of water in the street. And I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna go check this out." So I put on my shoes and I go outside and I look, and like my mom's over there, and there's a whole bunch of like neighbors around, and they're all like watching this giant puddle of water. And across the street, it's bubbling out. It's just, just like it's it's like a it's like a mini geyser. And apparently, it was like a complete geyser before. But it, it, like, it was, like, just bubbling out now. Um, I had been, it had been, like, wet over in the area before for a while. So they... So this was kind of, like, kind of expected, almost. Or... Not, not expected, but it was, like... It had been bubbling in the area for a while. So it wasn't... Kind of wasn't a surprise to the guy who had noticed. Um, so they called... They called the sewer... They called sewer people. Um, even though it was a water main break. And let me just keep going to the next levels. So I called the sewer guys, um, and I went around the back to see how like far it was, because it came out on one street. So on my street it was coming out, but it was running down another street. So I went around to see how bad it was. I come out a back alley, about like two houses down that second street it's running down. And what do you know? I can't even keep going because it's run all the way down that street and it's flooding houses nearby. So I can't even, like, go over there to see the extent of how far it goes. Um, so I go around again, down to... There's, like, train, tr train railroad tracks near our house. So I go down to those, and there's a street running along the railroad tracks next to them. And from there, I can finally see um, where the water stops. And it goes right up to that street, but it doesn't go onto that street. So it, it's, it's going down part of m my street, and then all the way down this other street that comes off mine. It doesn't go in the other direction. It's not like a T-cross, it's just a three-way cross. So it's running all the way down that street. And there's only one guy's house who's, like, really at risk of, like, flooding. Because his house, right at the corner, is very lower. Is much lower. Um, so he said there was no water in the basement. At least not at the, po at, at the point where we had, like... While well, they were shutting off the water. So eventually this... So I walk back around. Eventually the sewer guys get there. And they're, li and they're like, no, this is a water main break. We're gonna call the water guys. And they were already also on their way. So, like, two minutes later they arrive. And so I'm talking to the wa I'm talking to like the sewer guys, and they're like, "Yeah, this is a water main break. We were off going to somewhere else." But then they were like, "No, nope, turn around. We gotta go here." So they they were off to somewhere else, and then they had to come. They had to like turn around and come here because this one was so much worse. So it had been called in just like a twenty, maybe like ten minutes before I got there, or like less. So it had only been going for a little while, but it was called in like a minute after it was going. Um... There were a bunch of cars that, like, tried to, like, go through it. No one got stalled, but there were a couple that got really close. And there were a couple that, if they had gone through, may have stalled. But there were a couple low ones that didn't quite stall. They were, like, they were... It was, it was a very deep water. Like, at the deepest part, it was maybe a foot deep. Or maybe, like, most of a foot. I'm not exactly sure how much a foot is. It was, like... I don't know, maybe... A foot's a third of a meter, so... Yeah, maybe a foot and a bit deep. Might have, been, might have been like one and a half feet, maybe, at its worst. So the water guys eventually got there, and they started shutting off the water. And I was talking to the hydro guys, um, or the, not, not the hydro, the, um, I was talking to the sewer guys about, like, I went and looked, and it just goes down this way, um, and it doesn't seem like anything else is too bad over there. Um, it was, it was kind of just chaos, like, the water, like, it was, in, it was, for, in a lot of parts, it was on the grass. Um, it was up on sidewalks in a whole lot of area. Like, when I, when I was going by, I was trying to, like, I was trying to see, um, like, if I could, like, remember when I was going down that other alley? I was, I couldn't get by because the sidewalk was entirely flooded. I could have, like, got a 
got a booter, but I, I just rather go around. So, um, yeah, so what happened? Um, so we were, we were talking there. They eventually did come around to shut off the water. I'm going to miss this by one. Great. I'll try that again. So eventually they um, did manage to shut off the water and then it started draining quite quickly. But there were like parts of, there were like parts of the sidewalk that were like, like the other side of the street, street where it was coming up, the guy's house who was over there was like, it was like the entire, his yard was in underwater. Um, or most of it anyways. His house seemed fine. Um, and he said there was no water, so that's lucky. But he was probably like, quite close because there's like there were like bushes on the edge of his yard it went past the bushes and into the yard um and it was it had run like all the way down the other street too so we have water because it it's like past us so they shut off the water for that specific area but i have some like video i'll probably show at the end i i, I took a couple of quite a few pictures and video um but one of the one of the guys said it was like the worst he'd ever seen So, um, so what? So, um, I don't know, what, what else is there to, I'm, they came and they shut it off. I know there's more to the story, I just don't remember what. Um, I ended up going back down there again to see the damage. And the whole time it was just like, there were like people trying to like, get across, for a lot of it, it was just, like, there were cars trying to go through. There was, like, some people who were stuck who were, like... There were some people who lived in the ho one of the houses down a second street that had flooded, and they were, like, trying to get... They were trying to get to their house. So they were, like, going around. They come up to the alley, and they... They, like, they went up the alley part where I had gone, and that was also blocked. Um, so eventually it did work. It did work out. Um, they're probably going to have to dig it up, though, because it was, like, a really... They're not sure of the size of the pipe, but it was a big break. So, I, I'm, I'm getting distracted by the game. I'm trying to, trying to think back. So, um, we do still have water. I just took a shower now, and the water's fine. Um, it's not dirty or anything either. So we do have water, and we do have clean water. Um, but it is shut down for that area. Um, it wasn't too bad, but it was quite big. It was. And the other weird thing is it's, it's summer. Normally water main breaks happen in winter when the pipes freeze or whatever. But this was like, it's like middle of summer right now. It was a really weird time for it to freeze. Or not free. I guess it didn't freeze, it just broke for whatever reason. But it was kind of just like some weird crazy like once in a lifetime experience. Water main breaks like practically right outside our front door. It was like a uh, maybe five houses down and then across the street but it was a uh, it was like really gushing out there and the water pressure was definitely down and so it was like probably flowing for a good 30 minutes or so I was out there like probably 20 25 minutes um but I was I, I just like I literally had RT's stream in my hand while I was jogging around looking at the extent of the flooding but, like, I don't live in a flooding... I don't live in... I live in the middle of Canada. I don't live somewhere where it floods. We, like... The only flooding that would ever happen to where I live is if the river flooded. We There's a river that runs through the, through the center of our city. That would be the only time we would ever get flooding. And act, because of the, um... What's it called? The, the, flood, the flood barrier. What's the... What's the... The flood... The flood something. Floodgate? Um, I don't remember what it's called. There's the giant, like, dam around the city you can open up, they can open up. That, there was one time, quite a while ago, the history of that thing, the, um, whatever it's called. Um, I believe it was, like, the prime, the, maybe Prime Minister of Manitoba or the mayor of Winnipeg, um, initially realized that, hey, maybe we should, what if, what if the river ever floods? Let's build a giant, like, empty dam that we can open up open up in case the river ever floods. And, and it comes up from the U.S., so there's a lot of water that can run through that. 
And they're thinking, like, that's that's crazy. Like, that's going to be such a waste of money, and they all, like, braided him for it. But they did it. And then only a couple years later, there was a giant flood that could have wiped out the city. Like, completely flooded the city to the point of no return, because it just, everything is so flat. There's no hills, there's no nothing. It's all really flat. So, like, like the entire city has got a couple feet of difference of it. So, if the river flooded, we would have been in a lot of trouble. Um, but that, they were able to open the flood barrier. I think it's, it might be called a flood barrier, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's, it's got a specific name, I don't remember for some reason. But they opened it and it saved the city. Um, and they've had, they've had similar troubles with the same river in the U.S. And cities around there have actually considered building those things. So even that, even the river is unlikely to actually flood and do any damage or anything because of that, um, because of the dam, because of the, whatever it's called, the moat. The giant moat around the city. The empty moat. Um, so we're unlikely to ever get flooding. So that was like a really weird thing. Because it's, just a, it's a, just a water main, so it's only like a mini flood, but it's not like anything I've ever seen. Someone in Florida would be like, ah, it's weak, this happened. Something ten times as big happens every, every five times a year? How, ma how many hurricanes does Florida get every year? A dozen? But... Yeah, so it was just, a, it's a really weird thing to have happened in the mid, like, in the middle of, like, it's just something I've never seen before. Um, so they did, they did, in the, they, they managed to turn it off, the, went, the, the water level went down really fast after that. But I've been, like, and, and there were, like, at point when, the points when cars drove through was the funniest. They would, it would, they would drive through, and so much water would end up displaced, that it would just come up and it would end up all over the sidewalk. There was a small wave that was kind of like coming up to me and one of the workers, and I'm like, I'm not going to bother moving my foot up or back. It's like small enough. It won't be a problem. Sure enough, the small wave that's like half the height of my shoe hits my shoe, bounces up, and into my shoe, and I got a booter. And so I look at the guy, I'm like, oh, that's my sock. So it was like, there were like a lot of patches of grass, though. I'm not going to ever beat this level, am I? There were a lot of patches of grass that were, um like, completely submerged. Um, it had gone over the curbs in certain areas. And again, at the deep, at the deepest area, which is, like, slightly to the right of where it was actually flooding from, um, it was, like, it was a good couple, maybe a foot and a bit deep. Again, I'm not sure how deep exactly a foot is, but, like, probably a third or slightly more of a third, uh, slightly more than a third of a meter. So... It is mostly resolved. They're gonna have to dig it up over the next couple of days, though. But it's just like a super like random thing out of nowhere. I was just watching RT's. I'm watching RT's stream. I've like bet a thousand on VTubers. I'm up two thousand, so I bet a thousand on VTubers. And I'm doing pretty good. I'm playing like the smart bet strategy where you like you bet a hundred, and if you lose, you bet two hundred. Or I bet a hundred a second time, and then if I lose, I bet two hundred because that first hundred can just make allow me to come back. So I'm betting really smart, and I'm up 2,000. I figure, oh, I'll bet 1,000 on my last one. So I'm, I'm up either way. And I was always betting to the lower guy. Even if I wanted the other guy to win, I would always bet to the lower guy, because you'd actually get more money. Because it's the chances of actually winning are 50-50. But you get money based on how much the other side put in. So if they put in 2 million, and there's only 1 million on the other side, I want to go in with the 1 million, because then I'm, then I'm getting like I'm getting like 1 to 2 odds, whereas they're getting 1 to 1.5. So if I win, I'm actually getting more, I'm getting more swag bucks than I would have otherwise. So I'm like, sometimes betting against who I want, sometimes with who I want. And I've just got this like thousand, this last one, this thousand one on the VTubers, as I'm like walk, going outside to inspect a flood. <laughs> so it was a good just like funny half hour to an hour of like, what the heck's going on? Um, so I think I will, I think after this one, once this guy, once the shit dies here, I'll show you the actual, like, video I took of it and the pictures. I'll explain where the flooding was, but it, it was just a really weird, out-of-nowhere experience. And again, like, the, the guy who was, the sewer guy said he'd, like, never seen anything like it. Or it was the biggest he'd seen. Ah, great. So I'll pause and show you the video. So, here's the first one. So, this is where the, this is the first street. Um... So, there's this street here, and it's going from left to right, and you can see the water there. It's up in the grass. Um, you see the tree in the top right. To the right of that 
is where I believe the corner house is. And then there's another street to the right of that that goes upwards. And that was the second street. So there's the, so right in the middle, you see the tree in the top middle? Below that is where the water is gushing out of. And it's just rushing everywhere. This side, I don't know how like long exactly it is through. This is the second picture. This is from, so you see that red truck there? Um, that is facing towards the first street. So this one goes to the right and then up. This one is up on that second street. This is the second street. This is then the third street. Um, this is like, I'm standing on the road next to the train tracks now, and you can see the same red truck in this picture. So there's the red truck, and there's the red truck again. So I'm now standing further back, and this is where it's flooded. Um, and let me show you the videos now. So here's one video. There's a drain, trying its best. The entire grass is flooded. The car just drove through the whole thing. It's all over the place. It's up on the, almost on the sidewalk now. Super crazy out of nowhere thing. Here's the second one. This is the driveway. And then the entire grass here is flooded. Whenever a car drives through it, like, gets a giant wave. All the way up to here where it's a bit higher. And then the, on the other driveway again. So that was the chaos of the water main break. Um, yeah, again, like, I think this picture, like, shows it best coming out there and then, like, I, I'm not sure exactly where the drain is in this one, but you can, like, it's just it's bubbling out there across the street. Um, apparently it was, like, it was, like, going much higher before, but then it was going lower. Um, probably because it was meeting water resistance as well from just being up there, but kind of a, just a crazy thing that happened, like, just earlier, so... Yeah, that's um just you know interesting thing. Wanted to talk about it. Figure I can make a video about this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you like my content, feel free to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the fl miniature flood, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.